My name is Paul Snow. I'm the chairman of the Texas Bitcoin Conference. And uh, I'm here helping to facilitate uh, Bitcoin education, Bitcoin controversy, Bitcoin and blockchain technology. Well, I'm really fairly looking forward to seeing Eric Borges. Uh, he's been a mover in the space for a long time and uh, he's going to be talking on I'm not entirely sure, but he's always interesting. Um, I, there are a lot of speakers here I am very, very, very interested in. A lot of people that I'm interested in and a lot of technology I'm interested in. Well, the Texas Bitcoin Conference is a much more community-oriented uh, affair. There's a lot of fun in Austin, Texas. We are the funnest conference uh, put on anywhere worldwide. Um, and I'm not even biased just because I run it. It just really is a fun place. We, we put a strong emphasis on technology. Uh, we're, we're an open platform, which means we do not censor who wants to speak and who wants to talk and what they want to uh, bring to the table because we believe in open communication and transparency. Well, obviously factum. <laughs> I happen to be the CEO of Factum, an independent data layer on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, I, and, and of course, a person is always interested in their own uh, technology. But I do believe that securing data will be the number one uh, most dominant use of the blockchain technology as opposed to just securing money. Because money is just a, a uh, limited and uh, particularly important function of securing data, but, but that's all it is. Uh, when you go look at all of your medical records and all of your banking records and all of the transactions and business processes, there's so much data behind the money that needs to also be secured that I believe securing data will be the number one purpose of the blockchain sometime in the future, maybe five years from now. Oh, well. That I, I'm, I'm really excited about the continued adoption of Bitcoin. You're beginning to see Bitcoin get a lot of traction at uh, the layer, uh, at the organizational layer. For instance, when we're running this conference and someone says, oh, I will pay for my booth with Bitcoin or I'll, I'll pay my sponsorship with Bitcoin, I get that payment within minutes and, and it's secure, done, tied down. I'm done. I, no administrative headaches, no, no second guessing, no wondering, you know, calling to see if the wire cleared. It's just done. And that kind of ease of payment makes putting on a conference so easy. And I believe a lot of businesses are going to begin to discover that that same kind of, uh, you know, just rapid, I'm done and I can move on uh, kind of efficiency is going to increase uh, Bitcoin adoption. Uh, eventually it'll get into the consumer uh, level, but I believe the consumer level is a harder nut to crack. I, I believe consumers will be won over in 2018. 2015 and 16 is going to essentially be uh, merchant adoption.